So this is a tour of the rental. Uh, just gonna walk through so it's easier to see. Here's kind of the house. And then there's this front yard area, which is really great. And there's a bus stop that goes directly downtown, which is really nice. The good thing about the bus stop is it goes downhill. So it's actually really quiet. So come up through the entryway. So it's kind of this shared door with the owners below. And then you have go upstairs and there's some windows and upstairs. And then you actually have your own separate entry here. So you can see that door over there. That's a separate entry with its own key. Walk up, there's immediately little mini storage closet, just for storage stuff. And then this is kind of the living room area. So this is looking back out in front of the house. This is probably the biggest room. Doesn't, uh, it's kind of hard to show the size within the camera, but there's kind of this storage wall over here, which we'll go check out. And then there's also a closet. So we'll look at that first. So as you see, there is a closet with uh, storage. Some people in the past have used this as a third bedroom if they want three roommates here. Um, a lot of people just use it as a living room. So here's this kind of storage wall over here, as well as a whole other little side room, which um, can be used to store bikes, skis, whatever. But here's the front yard, which is nice. And we'll kind of walk down the hallway. So this is the main hallway here. Um, and then along with the first room. So if you come into the first room here, you can see that there is a closet in this room. Uh, this is probably one of the bigger bedrooms. And then one of my favorite parts about this room is if I can adjust the lighting here, you can actually see downtown, which is pretty cool actually. So we'll walk back out here. And then there's a bathroom. And we just recently installed a new shower head, etc. The tub. So that is the bathroom. Okay, so just coming out of the bathroom. We're back here in kind of this main hallway area. Another cool thing is this has its own, this unit has its own utility room. So there's a stackable washer and dryer. Have your own water heater, so you never run out of hot water. And then it's kind of all this storage down here. It's nice, so plenty of storage space. And then this is the third bedroom. So it's plenty big to fit a queen bed right in there. It also has its own walk-in closet there, you can see on the left, which is actually pretty decent size. So you have over there, I guess I should turn the light on, that might be a little easier to see. So yeah, plenty big enough. Um, this bedroom also kind of has a similar view as the other bedroom. So now let's walk into the kitchen. A little spice rack here. So as you walk into the kitchen, there is a dining space over here. So people have put a dining table over here in the past and used that as storage. It's kind of this full wall of windows, which is really, really nice. It's very private. Um, none of the neighbors can see in this because you're up on the second level and you can't really see any windows. If you look back here, you can kind of see this is the cooking and kitchen area. Now there's some storage above the stove. The stove is also gas, which is really nice. Um, a bunch of cabinets down here to store pots, pans, all sorts of things like that. And then there are also cupboards up here. Look down down the stairs real quick because it's actually a really nice view of the yard. Um, you know, not many yards in Seattle, uh, so that's a good amount of yard space. It's really private. 
And as I mentioned, the front space would also totally be at disposal and use for the tenants. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.